Yeah, just drinking some water there. <laughs> oh boy. I was gonna try to pick that, but only opens with a key. I don't know why they even do that, because every door can be locked, I would think, in general. If it has a key, it can be unlocked. Oh man, there's so many adhesive strips everywhere. When I first climbed this mountain what? above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. Oh, you didn't think you that, uh, think to yourself, what a wonderful life? Understanding. Peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you, as long as you welcome us. Well, in that case, I want a new cola, some stim packs, Kasumi Nakano returned to her family, and, um, mm, a pony? <laughs> I see. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me. You think Kasumi is a synth? Uh... Why? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question. And the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? Mm, no, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. Yeah, the sensors cannot change. That you could be a synth, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? Um. Oh no, maybe I am a synth. Yeah, you first. I'm not going to tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory. In the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down. Operated on. And then... I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify where they are, how to find them. But I do remember being quite content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours. <laughs> it's not even... <laughs> I should just say that. Because... I... <sighs> Because whatever the memory of my character would be, it would be before the bombs, obviously. It would not be the day the bombs fell, or like, it was with my family. Actually, with, with my family might actually mean Careful the right thing. Words. Admirable. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll actually say that with, was, I was with my family. Hopefully that will actually make sense. This is the one problem of still not actually showing what I will say, but I think it will make sense. I was with my husband. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my son, Sean. And... Well, lots happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? 
people, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. So everybody here is not a synth, but they think that they're a synth, and then they're trying to just make it so then everybody's just like, oh yeah, we're all synths. Everybody in the world is a synth. We can just live in harmony that way. Uh... I've heard enough. Where is Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you <laughs> and Chase. need anything else before you go? I'm in the Brotherhood? That's not true. Uh, and also, I'm not really with anybody aligned with currently. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm I done. should get going. Of course. Perhaps in there but it's just. Time. Are you doing all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Oh boy, there are so many quests here. But yeah, I was thinking like that. Well, there's just so many different things I'm thinking of right now, because he kind of makes me think of Ultron or something like that. This is, this is all Ultron. Oh, all the doors are open! Oh, well, that's the door to go down, okay. I'll talk to them first, because this guy's walking out here. Hello, Mr. Faraday. Do you have any cages around? I was having a hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the Atom Lunatics. They're nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest Faraday, relax. All will be fine. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. I just remembered what I was going to say earlier. Is that just... This guy is treating me like I am a part of radio. Like... That's at least the way it is always in real life, is that people, as soon as you say you're in radio, then people are just like, Oh yeah, we'll, we'll show you everything, we'll give you a tour, we'll give you free stuff, and I'm just like, yes. But anyway. Uh... I'm sorry, I thought you were going to say something? You're right, it is a good cause. Synths definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Demon knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. Well, now, I worry about your mouth because it's really weird looking. Condensers. So many things to keep track of. Right, right. Wouldn't want him blowing a fuse, huh? Uh, no. Not really. Yeah, I know, that wasn't even that funny of a thing, or that sarcastic, or anything. That's just kind of true. Don't want him to blow a fuse. Th these sarcasm comments are going downhill. I want my money back. <laughs> anyway, uh... If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? Yeah, that's no problem. Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Okay. Oh, I like that there's... Shaking hands with the crazy Dima guy. Oh boy. You gotta love that Ultron. No, way to pick this. no, there is. Come on. If you can insert a key, you can insert a bobby pin. Come on. It's the way things work with insertion. Come on. Now. 
Oh. Well, that was easy. <laughs> also, Mr. Roboto did a bit of a teleportation run, but it happens. Can't pick this. What? But I have the key! Come on, I stole a key. Therefore, everything should be good. Oh, well. Uh, there we go. Now I'm gonna go inside there, but... Where's... Where's Bob or Frank or whatever the guy's name is that's not Faraday? Yes. So I, I just love that, that Faraday actually makes sense for a guy that would be working with all this stuff. Two millimeter electromagnetic cartridge. Never have seen be those before, I don't think. Sounds pretty interesting. But yeah, it should be like Tesla around here as well. Faraday's terminal. Okay. Yes. Where's Mr. Roboto? Oh, wait. Is he a teleporter as well? Oh, boy. Where'd Mr. Roboto go? Oh, he's just stuck up there. I guess he doesn't understand where to go, despite the fact that this DLC was made after the automatron, so it should be automatron-friendly compared to the rest of the game that isn't automatron-friendly. Hey. Oh, come on. Heads up. Okay, here we go. Let's go down here, first and foremost, possibly. But, uh, instead of actually ordering him to do that, I'll probably get him to just order to, uh, inspect. Think you can unlock that terminal. Yeah, he's so far away right now. Okay. Ah. Okay, I might just want to get rid of all of my junk. Because I don't really need it. For the most part. Because I think I've upgraded, like, all my materials that I could ever really need in the game still. It's just that a lot of these things are just so tantalizing that I can't not gra grab them and stuff. Oh well, junk gone on the ground. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Oh, Perhaps where'd you not come as from? Quietly or efficiently as possible, but thankfully she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. You miss out on a fun boat ride. Never. Well, then at least you have the return trip to look forward to. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? So you're saying I should shoot up the place. <laughs> I don't like it when people threaten me like this. Hey, no argument from me. Good. Glad to hear it. You have Dima's blessing. So by all means, make yourself comfortable. Yes, because if you have the blessing of Ultron, then you don't want to make him angry. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. Yes? All right, I'm listening. We were expecting Don't why you to stop halfway arrive, through. And he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. It's the child of Adam. It's the ch children of Adam. This island is a death trap. Your scent probably ended up as Mirelurk food. I certainly hope not, but I'd like to know for certain. You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us. A synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. So, could you write that down on a piece of paper? I already forgot it. It was... L2564? Yeah? <laughs> no. Now that I actually did say that, I am slightly forgetting what, he, what I actually even was told, but... Nuka-Cola! Okay, I need to go ahead and switch my sunglasses for this. Because I might need to have the power of charisma when I'm talking to this girl down here. Fashionable sunglasses. Which also maybe means that I should switch into my uh, summer shorts. Make her a little bit more comfortable around me, you know. Look at this. 
It still works to have the captain's hat even with these clothes on. It's so good. Oh boy, this place is massive. What, are you a synth too? Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. I assume it certainly wasn't what I was expecting. Oh boy, this entire place. Wait. Oh, well, I'll just jump down here. But this is actually like a whole town. Fried. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You, you can tell by the clothes. You're what? You came all this way... for me? Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. But they... they don't... What? Okay, I'm just gonna ask the truth because I would... My response personally to this would be... I think that they would love you and would want you back anyway. They don't care. You know? What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> uh... I, I don't want to do either of like that you're just confused or you're not a replacement or anything like that. Because I still just want to say that like you should just talk to them. That's all it is. Just talk to them and then see what they say from there. I know. It must be hard for you. I just want to make sure you're here for the right reasons. Yeah. So I am. I mean, yes. I believe I'm a synth, but there's something wrong here with Acadia. There's more going on than just the refuge. I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've done enough running. Okay. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I That's why I'm wearing these clothes, secret. of course. A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. <laughs> Sister, there's a lot of things on this island more important than you. If you could just hold the jokes for a second, you That saw wasn't even a joke, it's it's the truth, you know. To, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there, and that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Oh, boy. Sarcasm. Personally, I find calculated mass murder to be very soothing. Look, help me out, and if I'm wrong, you can make all the jokes you want. Now, I've tried doing some digging on my own, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Oh, that's, that's easy. I can just get Mr. Roboto to hack it, but at least as long as he wants to move in there. Um, well, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just talk to Dima, no. I know a thing or two about hacking. I'll give it a try. If you're sure. Good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Okay, well that's still pretty pretty easy. Optional, you can talk to him or you can gain access. I, I should have the ability to get into the... Oh, maybe I couldn't get into the room before because of the fact that I didn't have this quest. You know? Maybe. I think I might be able to get into it right now. I'm gonna try. If I... Oh, hello. I like her clothing. Whenever I see somebody with the red rocket stuff, it's just like... 
It's so soothing. Oh boy. Makes me feel all nostalgic. N n nostalgic for the dog of meats. Okay. Let's go inside this place here. So I guess I could get through here now. Whoa. Oh, this is just another... Okay. Maybe this is not the storage door that I was thinking of then. What? Okay, where's... Where's the third option then? Options, options, options. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go outside then. And then, because I, I obviously can't sneak in and just listen to their meetings, because I am not stealthy in the slightest, so... I just, like, kick over a, a jar of... honey, and then I just walk around and just get stuck in it, and it's like, Oh no! Oh, I'm flailing on the ground! I'm all honeyfied. Man, I just love the way that Far Harbor looks, though. This seems like it's an upgraded version of Fallout 4. Because that just looks beautiful. Oh, boy. I'm gonna put on my clothes again, though. It's probably for the best. There we go. So... I guess... back in? Is Mr... Oh, if, if, if Mr. Roboto's actually stuck in there now, that's gonna be really bad. Because I think he is still in here. Oh, why? Okay, maybe it's because he's trying to hack the terminal. That might be the problem. So, first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and make sure he follows me. Then I'm going to go outside, go back inside, and then hopefully that will work. Well, that sucks. Oh, wait, there's more synths out here. Maybe someday more places in the world will accept us from life. If it weren't for Acadia, I'd be dead. No question about it. I wonder if they just give every single synth the same voice. Oh, those crazy institutes. They're lazy on their voicing. Their voice systems or whatever. I'm gonna tell Mr. Roboto to leave, though. It's a bad idea, but it's the only idea I have currently, to be able to make it so then he can actually get out and go. Because if he glitched to the point where he can't move either now, that's gonna really suck. I guess I could always make a, a new Mr. Roboto. He'll still be named Automatron, unfortunately enough, because of the fact that Look the names are broken. Yes. Also, he has a lot of stuff on him, though. That's the one thing. Um, let's talk. Yeah. Look alive. Hey. Oh, why? Hey. How may I be of service? This is just awful. Okay, that did not seem to work. Why is he stuck? There we go. Hey. Heads up. Yeah, he's just broken. Okay. Maybe I will go back and load a couple of different saves back or something. That's not good. The last save I have is from that far back. Oh. Well, that's always fun. I'm stuck with Mr. Roboto being broken. And also I can't get my stuff back. Look alive. Sure. Go ahead and take a look. Is it worth it to get my armor back? That's the question now, because this game it's just so broken. That's the problem with Fallout 4, is that I guess like in just open world games in general, I guess, is that there's just too many room there's too there's too much room for error. Oh, uh, well, I guess I'll just not have a robot follower for now and not have my armor, because I don't want to have to do this whole bit over again. So then again, it wouldn't be that difficult to do it all over again. Maybe I should flip a coin to figure it out. That's how I solve, like, tough decisions in life. I actually do flip coins. Although I'm not as bad as, uh, Two-Face, of course. Oh, boy. Well, you know what? If I can actually save Mr. Roboto, it might be worth it. Because I think I might be able to save him. And I want my stuff, most importantly. 
So... But then again, I didn't... I got this rifle from somewhere else, and I want to keep this rifle. Guns are more important than friends. Could rebuild myself a new automatron. Hey. What can I do for Over you? here. Certainly. Uh What if I try to kill him, you know? He doesn't seem to care. Good to know. Okay, like I guess I I can always re Invigorate myself and get new armor if I need to. I can always get more stuff. I can always make myself a new robot. You know what? Screw this. Screw this whole thing. I'm gonna do things my way. I'm gonna leave this on its own. I'm gonna get new followers or something. I can get new hackers. Or I'll just get a new Mr. Roboto and just put him in there and then he'll get stuck too and then it's just gonna be really, really ridiculous. Oh well. I'm moving forward though. I'm gonna make this make the most of this situation here. <laughs>